Welcome to AORIN channel and welcome back to surfacing course. In this lecture, we are gonna show how we can work with proper orientation and profile twist. So first, we are gonna work with this sketch here. We have a circle. We are gonna use this circle. And this spline, we are gonna use as a path. So let's go to surface tab and swap surface. Let's choose sketch profile. Let's choose our profile and our path. And this is normal surface that we cut. Here we have options. Let's open this. And here we have profile orientation. And by default, we have followed path. Let's click here. And here we have another option. Keep normal constant. Let's click this. Now let's open our tray. Let's go to front. And normal too. Now we can see that the first profile and the last profile cross section are parallel because we choose keep normal constant along this path. Now if we choose here, follow path, we can see the difference. So this last cross section is not parallel to this profile at the beginning, it's under some angle. So we can see how by changing the profile orientation, we can have a different shape of our surface. And when we have some curved path, then the shape of our surface by choosing different profile orientation can differ a lot. Now let's click OK. And now we're gonna show a profile twist. So we have here two sketches. So for sketch one, we have here a profile. We're gonna use this line and we're gonna use this path as well. And we have identical sketch here with this profile and this sketch. So let's go to surface and swap surface and let's choose this line as a profile and let's choose this spline as a path and now we got something like this let's go to options and we have here profile orientation follow path we see that because we see that this profile at the beginning and this profile at the end are not parallel if we go with keep normal constant now they are parallel but let's go with follow path and here we have profile twist and now we have by default none we can open this and we have few options specify twist value specify direction factor and tangent to adjacent faces and we're gonna use specify twist value so let's click this and now we have here another option twist control let's click here and we have here options we have decrease radians and revolutions and we're gonna go with revolutions and here we can choose the number of revolutions so we can go with two for example like this and now what happens and now we see that this profile at the beginning is rotating along this axis two times if we go with one number of revolution now we see that this profile rotates one time 360 degrees along this path here we can go with reverse twist direction so we can change twist direction like this but let's keep it normal and let's click ok let's go now to another sketch here let's go to swap surface let's choose this as a profile and let's use this as a path but now other options we're gonna choose keep normal constant so now we see the first cross section and the last cross section are parallel on the profile twist we're gonna choose specify twist value and this is the only option that we have when we have keep normal constant so let's choose this and for the twist control we're gonna go with revolutions and we're gonna go with one number of revolution like this and we can also go with reverse twist direction or we can turn this off now let's click ok like this now let's go to the front plane and let's go normal too now if you look at this we can see that our last cross section on this surface and this surface are different here we can see that this cross section is parallel to the beginning and this one it's at some angle 
So we can see here, in this angle, we can go to evaluate, measure, and we can measure this angle. So we have 25.15 degrees difference when we use follow path and keep normal constant. Let's go back to our surface. This one. Let's go edit. Like this. And now we see here we have follow path. If we go with keep normal constant, not only last cross section is parallel to the first cross section, all cross sections along this path are parallel. So in this lecture, we show how we can change the shape of our surface by changing the proper orientation and how we can use a profile twist. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.